I'm Roseanne Seaton. I'm a Senior Human Resource Consultant for Fossil Power Group in Employee Relations. And we're at the beautiful Elephant Sanctuary in Hole-in-Wall, Tennessee, which was founded in 1995 with 110 acres, which is right behind me, and one elephant. Today, we've been around 15 years. We've rescued 24 elephants. We have 15 living, and we have now over 2,700 acres in this wonderful natural habitat for elephants. I like to volunteer. I was raised that we should do something beneficial in our community, that we can make a difference, that each one of us, even with a short amount of time, can make a difference. And there are so many needs out there. Well, the sanctuary, I think because of its uniqueness, and I was looking for something new that I could actually learn a lot about. You may ask, why do I volunteer? But one, I feel I have a responsibility to volunteer and try to help the community I'm in. But also, it helps in my stressful job in human resources, this is one way to totally remove myself from the work environment. I love doing the manual labor. I love speaking about the elephants. I love the variety of people I meet and the enrichment I get from meeting different people from all kinds of settings in the variety of volunteer work I do. Hi, I'm Mary Holland. I'm an engineering specialist at Sequoia Nuclear Plant and a horticulture volunteer here in the Tennessee Aquarium. I've volunteered here at the aquarium since it opened in 1992 and here in the Butterfly Garden since 2005 when it was opened. As a horticulture volunteer, I water the plants in the garden, I uh, cut up and provide food as the wet waitress and chef to the birds that are running around here and the butterflies. The um, aquarium, as, um, as a result of my volunteer work, has received gifts through the Community Connections campaign. And now that they are a part of the CFC, I can also support the aquarium through the CFC, which allows the aquarium to offer um, visitation to disadvantaged schools or uh, send um, the educator out to various school programs. Uh, they've got conservation programs that release sturgeon in, back into the uh, river and allow the aquarium to help the environment uh, in this area of the country. I love the butterfly garden. I love being in here, especially when it's you know, 23 degrees outside and it's sunny and the butter butterflies are fluttering around and the flowers are blooming. You've got snow outside and ice, but it's warm in here, and it's just like summer all the time. I've learned a lot from working at the aquarium, and it makes me much more appreciative of the natural world when I go out hiking or uh, just working out in my yard. I enjoy watching the butterflies out in my backyard, and I've enjoyed putting uh, additional butterfly plants out there. I'd like to welcome everybody from TVA. My name's Robert Smith. I'm the fire chief here at the Oakland Volunteer Fire Department. We've got uh, eight trucks that run out of this station. We cover 96 square miles. We've got approximately 225 residents here in our community. We're a small rural farming community with cotton gins, fertilizer plant, a lot of corn, a lot of cows. As a volunteer firefighter, this is who I am. You give of your time, your effort, and your service to your community. What you get in return is respect. You get a sense of self-satisfaction, not only in knowing that you're helping your community, but you're helping someone in need. When you go out on a wreck scene or a fire scene, and you come out with positive results, you save somebody's house, you extricate somebody from a vehicle, you just provide care and you pass it along. You know you've done the right thing. That's what it's all about. The skills that we have as TVA employees 
you need to put those to work for your volunteer organization. We need welders, we need mechanics, we need uh, truck drivers, we need secretaries, we need people that will help with all facets of keeping the, the business of a volunteer organization, a nonprofit organization going, because essentially that's what it is. And it's your community. It's your community. 